us. Go watch his full video, because it's an excellent example how the left is completely failing at this topic. Now, he does address that they are basically losing the argument. No, I didn't say that. Not at all. Someone deciding to be completely reactionary to a new thought or idea is not in any way, shape, or form the problem of the person that's presenting that new thought or idea. That's a you problem. It is not the problem of leftists and feminists who have been bending over backwards for practically decades to try to hammer home these ideas that are also going to help men in the long run. If you decide that you're not going to take care of nurture and water the seed that has been planted, if you decide that you're going to completely disregard that, please explain to me how that is my problem. That video is a classic example of how men do not listen. Your fault for not listening. You're the problem. And then scolds anyone that suggests maybe the left could try something different. And Wrong. Again, I did not do that. Everyone's saying, well, the left needs to try something different. Like what? Like, like what? Something that we haven't already done before? Please, I would love to hear the ideas. Please. What else? Because again, I keep hearing, well, you need to try a different angle. You need to try a different approach. Please, somebody enlighten me. What is something that we need to do? Friendly and accessible leftist content is literally all over the freaking internet. It is in pretty much any form that you would like to consume it. There are tons of content creators out there that are positive examples of masculinity on the left. FD Signifier, Hassan, Vosh, I Speak, Conscious Lee. But let me guess, I'm pretty sure that every dude that hates the left probably has a problem with every single one of the people I just mentioned. Heck, maybe I could be one of those role models one day. I don't know. Listen, leftists, this conversation is a losing one because we're talking to people who nine times out of 10 are just programmed and conditioned to just disregard the shit that we say. I mean, when are we gonna talk about how with a lot of these people like Andrew Tate and Fresh and Fit, a large part of the reason why they're able to really snare in a lot of young men is due to the way in which they flaunt their wealth and power. Because when we talk about toxic masculinity, a large part of masculinity in America is attached to wealth and social status and the physical possession of items. None of this is our fault. We have been trying for literal freaking decades to get these points across and they're not getting across, not because necessarily that we're not doing effective outreach, but because like I've said in earlier video, we're talking about revising and overturning things that are embedded in this country and have been embedded in this country since its founding. I'm not saying we should stop trying either, but we gotta call this crap what it is. We gotta call out what is actually happening.